vaults of heaven. <laughs> and it really does feel not just so far away, but just so vast, so enormous. It's the largest dome in bricks and masonry anywhere in the world. The dome spans 45 meters. It makes you look up to heaven, but keeps your mind firmly on hell. But we're not here simply to stare at beautiful things. We're here to get underneath their skin. And to do that, we're going to have to go behind the scenes. It's quite a climb. Just as well, I don't suffer from vertigo. Florence's cathedral was dreamt up in the 13th century to show off the city's growing power, but no one knew how to build a massive unsupported dome. The knowledge had been lost with the Romans. For 140 years, this balcony was the highest you could climb. The end of the cathedral stood open to the elements. Finally, a committee of the great and the good, including a Medici, of course, held a competition to find someone who could solve the problem. The man who stepped forward was Filippo Brunelleschi. He offered a design that was a piece of sheer theatre and magic, and quite literally, because Brunelleschi refused to share with the committee the exact plan of how he was going to achieve this magic. He asked them to trust him. There is a wonderful story, and it revolves around the humble egg. Brunelleschi said, OK, all the competitors, can you, can you make this egg stand up on a plate? If you can, build a dome. None of them could. Brunelleschi came along and quite simply cracked the egg on a plate. Now, his competitors said, well, if we knew you were going to do that, we could have done it too. Exactly the point, Brunelleschi replied. I'm not going to share my magic with you. You're going to have to trust me that I can do the impossible. So Brunelleschi, who'd never built anything before, got to build his dome. But he still refused to reveal his plans and deliberately left no blueprints. And no one could work out how he did it. <laughs> <laughs> 